Careful there. Careful there. Ayo, what are you doing here? So pregnant, still walk around? Ella's bought at home, and we're going on a river cruise later. River cruise? So fun. Hiya, she's so pregnant, she's not supposed to have fun. Don't be too fierce, ma. It's my birthday treat. Plus, it's the last chance for me to have fun before the baby comes. Ayo. Don't worry, I'll be with her. Yeah, coming back soon, right? Where are you going? I promised to meet Jessica for a while. I want to update her on the baby. Meet Jessica. Good morning, birthday girl. My birthday is tomorrow. So what are we doing? Watching a National Day Parade. I'm talking about your birthday. We have to do something. Let's have a party. Just a small one. No. Okay, if you have to do something, I am organizing an online fundraiser for an animal charity. You can make a donation instead of getting me a present. Fine. I'll make the biggest donation. Do they need a new cleaning? We could call it the Yolk Shelly Annex. Sure. And then we'll have a dinner so we can tell everyone about it. I think I'll have breakfast at Lux. Good. Your mother said Lux. I'll come with you. We can have a family breakfast and discuss your birthday plans. Yeah, I better make a move first. Adam, Lux is over there. Why are you going that way? Oh, I thought I'd get some petty four from the bakery first. Ma, what are petty fours? I don't know. But if the woman like, uh, then it must be something expensive. Adam, I... Yeah? When you see Jessica afterwards, uh, can you ask her how is your... She seems quite sad lately. Mm, maybe she misses Matthew. I heard he's been away for work. Huh, that means you is going to be alone on her birthday. Hey, Ma, can we celebrate with Jay? Ay, I cannot la. Then that Jessica is going to show me her long face. Ay, I know uh, she doesn't want us to catch out yo. You are her brother. You want me to catch out yo for you? Yeah, can. I'll see what I can do. Bad news? More like no news. Uh. I've been trying to call Michael, but he won't even pick up. I tell you, this stupid video is really screwing up my life. What about Madeline? Is she blocking you too? No. Oh, she's been trying to convince her father that this mess with Louis is just a misunderstanding. But he won't listen. This is all Jim's fault. You really think he's behind this? Who else could it be? The only problem is I can't prove it. The video was taken from Allgood. Whoever shot the video must have been captured on their CCTV. <laughs> Who doesn't know that? I called all good, but they refused to show me their security footage. I'll get the footage for you. You? I use Michael Chan's name also cannot get. <laughs> Sometimes, knowing the Jaga is just as important as knowing the big shots. Why did you say so earlier? I thought you had connections. One last outing with Ella. Once the baby is here, who knows when we'll be free to go out again. I wish Derek had been half as caring when I was pregnant. Just let it go. Jessica, would you talk some sense into your daughter? She refuses to celebrate her birthday. Stop badgering her. I'm sure she has a perfectly good reason. Exactly. If you must know, I already have plans for tomorrow. With who? Is May one part of these plans? She's not. I would know. Some of my uni friends are in town and we're just gonna catch up. Fine. What about today? Today? You don't have any plans, do you? Actually, she does. Um, with me. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us earlier? We could come along. Actually, it was more of a brother-sister thing. You know, for bonding. No parents allowed. Hey, yo, I think we should go. We don't want to be late for the... The thing, right. Okay. okay. Bye. You two have fun. <laughs> Thanks for bailing me out. Actually, I meant it. Come, hang out with me and Ella today. Who is hanging out with us today? No, you two go ahead. <laughs> Mr. Shelley's right. You should celebrate your birthday. I'm sure York has plans today. Yeah, with my uni friends. Mm, I thought that was tomorrow. You are not celebrating your birthday with anyone. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Come on the river cruise and have dinner with us. Or I have no choice but to tell Mr. Shelley. River cruise, no dinner. Mm, deal. 
we can have a joint birthday celebration for the two of you. It will be fun, won't it? Yay! Yay! <laughs> really? That's interesting. You know, it would really help if I could look into the archived files. Thanks, man. How? Guess what? No, I didn't get the CCTV footage. Listen, someone from KSUH requested it, and now it's gone. Whoever was behind the video also had access to the CCTV footage. Exactly. You're right. It's probably James behind everything. Tickets? Thanks, that's it to the jetty. Oh, no, 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 no. Finish your food. Still got time before the boat leaves. Besides, you know what happens if you eat and walk. She gets really bad indigestion. I just get a little bloated. And gassy and nauseous. You don't want to be nauseous on the boat, do you? <laughs> Irritating. It's true. When is Matthew coming back? He didn't say. Uh, Excuse me, I need the washroom. I don't think she's having fun. Blackmail victims really do. Just wanted to get to know her better. By manipulating her? Then, what do you think I should do? Try being open and honest for a change. York might actually appreciate that. You think I'm very smart, right? Depends on who I'm talking to, but generally, yeah. I know you're responsible for leaking that video. Am I? Then you try to cover your tracks by deleting the CCTV footage from all good. It's deleted? Wait, how do you even know that, huh? How do you have access? It doesn't matter. Don't think I won't tell Michael Chan what you did. <laughs> you can spin all the lies you want to. Doesn't change the fact that you said those things to Lewis. Head back to the office? Yeah. You know how it is, a CEO's job's never done. Yeah. I need to head back home, pick up some documents after lunch. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Ready to go? Sorry, my turn to use the ladies' room. Sorry, I gotta make a call. Are you really that bothered about me being your brother? Be honest. I won't tell Jessica. I went from being a low to a Shelly. And now suddenly I have one extra brother. Any normal person will be bothered by this. Why aren't you? <sighs> I guess growing up with no parents, no siblings, you take whatever family you get. When I was young, I wish to have brothers and sisters. And now it's like, my wish came true. Having siblings is a mostly great experience. I haven't been a great sister to you so far, but I'll try to make it up to you. Thank you. I'm sure it, I'm sure Ella appreciates having you around more too. With the baby coming, I'm sure she won't have time. Sorry I took so long. Let's just go. <laughs> Hello? What? Then you have to prepare for surgery? Have you taken her to do the test yet? Okay. <sighs> Sorry, something came up at work. You guys go without me. This will take a while. But... I'll catch you guys later. No sense wasting your tickets. I guess.
Hey, Nina. I got the video. Thanks. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Bye. What can you do? Hey, take Melly back. Sue me. You can't do anything. Everyone knows that Louis Shelley is a spineless. <clears throat> What is it? I got the terms for the Jaya Holdings merger, like you asked. Thanks. Uh, I've got a meeting at four, so I'll take a look at them later, yeah? James, when you come back, come into my office. How long do you think this cruise lasts? Too long. Yo, can we get along, please? For Adam's sake and for the baby's sake. That is not gonna happen. There's only so many times I can apologize for what I did to you. I know. You are sorry? Well, I can't get over it. I don't hate you. We could have been friends. If you had just stopped barging into my life. It's like I just I can't get away from you. I'm not going to mess up your life. I've changed. Have you? You're still making stupid decisions. You've married Adam, Jessica's son. And you're having his baby. I didn't plan for it. I wanted to give the baby up. But Adam and Niwan made me realize that maybe I won't be a bad mother. You're either really brave or really delusional. After everything our family put us through, you still think you can raise a child? I would never dare to do that. In therapy, I learned to stop blaming myself for what happened to us. Because it's not our fault. But it sounds like you still blame yourself. Can we just stop talking and enjoy the view? Hmm. <laughs> what now? My water broke. I'm going into labor. Okay, I'll, I'll tell us the boat stop. Stop where? There's nowhere for us to get off. We're stuck here until the next stop. <sighs> how, how did you not know that you were in labour? Don't aren't there like warning signs? I saw a twinge this morning. It could have been a contraction. And you ignored it? I wanted to come on the cruise, plus it, it went away. Help me. Okay, okay, what do I do? I'm giving you a head massage to help you relax. I saw you on a TV show. This is not a TV show. Okay, fine. Tell me what to do. Tell me that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Adam, meet us at the next stop. Ella is in labour. How far apart are the contractions? Uh, about three minutes. It sounds like she's in early labour. Uh, Ella, we'll get you to the delivery room to wait. Hang in there, okay? Please, come in with me. Oh, sorry. She can only have one person in the delivery room with her. Adam, uh, call me one and tell her that I'm in labour. You can keep me company. Uh, okay. I'll take care of her. I got the compile list of assets. If we send these away for valuation now, we may be able to get the numbers back in time for the meeting tonight. Great. That video about Lewis and Hawk, you leaked it, didn't you? How could you steal that from me? What about Nina? 
You know what a madman hawk is. What if he finds out that she was the one who shot it? I made sure that her face and voice were not in the video. And apparently the CCTV footage from All Good has gone missing too, so there's no evidence Nina was involved. For the heaven, personally, check that. I should. You don't need to. What happened with you, James? Are you so desperate to get back at Hawk that you don't care who gets hurt along the way? I told you, Nina is safe. It's not just Nina. What about Michael and Madeline? You embarrassed their whole family. Yeah, and Hawk embarrassed my family. I can't stand by and let Hawk drag Lewis's name through the mud. And you don't get to play judge and jury on this. Because just like me, you did exactly what you needed to do. It's not the same. Hmm. I did it to protect Nina. You did it to destroy Hawk. Can we please just sit down? They say walking helps to elevate the pain. Do you know what else helps to alleviate the pain? Painkillers. No. Okay, listen, you have been very strong, but I think it's time for an epidural. So does Adam. How would he know? I've been texting him. Okay, look. Do you really want to give birth and all you can remember is how much it hurt? Epidurals are safe, okay? And they'll block out the pain. You'll be better rested to push when the baby comes. Adam is your husband. He should really be here. I don't want him to see me like this. But with me, it doesn't matter. You've already seen me at my worst. I know I can trust you. I hope the nurse comes soon. I can feel another one starting. OK, now, squeeze this one. Are you sure it's safe for us to meet you? They're asleep. Even if they see us, I'll just say there was a work emergency. Do you get anything from All Good CCTV? Nope. The footage from August 2nd is gone. I even looked into the archives. Whoever asked to see it must have deleted it. James is going to pay for this. Even if it was James, what can we do? He and Michael go back a long way. Exactly. Imagine how angry Michael will be if he finds out what his friend did to his family. So we keep an eye on James. He's bound to slip up. Anyway, good job finding out about the CCTV footage. I told you, I'm capable of more than getting you coffee. If you give me the chance. You have to prove yourself after I get back from the site inspection in Vietnam. You don't sound happy about it. I can't afford to leave now. Especially when I don't know what Michael is going to do. I can go. You hired me as your assistant, so let me assist. Together, okay? Are you ready? Push! You can do this! Time of birth, you learn 52, August 8th. Congratulations, you have a baby girl. If you had waited eight minutes, you could have had the same birthday as us. Sorry to break this up, but I noticed the baby has some aconium on her. What does this mean? Is this serious? So far, she seems fine. We'll have the neonatologist take a look at her. Sorry, they will take the baby from you, okay? Congratulations! I heard the deal went through. Yeah, we did a lot of last-minute scrambling to make it happen. Trust me, the profits from this will more than make up for working over the weekend. Yeah, says the person who didn't actually come back into the office. By the way, did you hear? Ella gave birth. It's a girl. That's fantastic. Is she all right? 
They're both doing fine. Anyway, the two of you should get some rest. So are you planning on visiting Ella? Why? She's fine. Night. What did the baby have? Meconium aspiration syndrome. It means the baby breathing his own poop. E. Maybe you can see the baby later. Um, in that case, I'll make a move first. Congratulations again, Ella. Thanks. Hey, Ella, what's the baby's name? Good question. Dawn. Dawn. Like, dawn of a new day, a new beginning. Dawn, Xia Xiao Chen, very nice. Where's Hawk? Did anyone call him? I messaged him, but he didn't reply. Ayah, don't bother about him. Maybe he's sleeping. It's late. Speaking of which, I uh, should go. Yoke. Thanks. And happy birthday. You too. Oh yeah, the night of August. Happy birthday, Jay. Thank you. I was in this hospital so many years ago. Sorry to interrupt, but we're sending your baby to the NICU. What's wrong with her? The neonatologist will explain the details to you later. Mothers don't get public holidays off. I can't help you with James. Please, just check on him. If it's nothing to do with work, it is none of my business. My sources in Hong Kong told me Emily had a difficult birth when Maxine was born. I'm staying out of it. With Ella and the baby in hospital, it must be stirring up all sorts of memories for James about Emily. I know he's upset and he won't talk to me. Please talk to him. He has no one. He's got Marine. 